YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? This is CJ the Detail Guy. Just back with another video. Um, just a little update video on my 83 T-Top Cutlass. Um, Y'all know I've been struggling trying to get my car. Um, it's been months, I'm talking about years upon years, and now months on months. We don't really get clear as far as the dates go. Uh, you tell me one date, then, you know, it always get to another another week after that, to another week after that. Now it's been months and months. So we do have an update. I showed y'all some updates with the, with some of the, um, the cutting of cutting in of the um, paint. If I got something on my face, please forgive me. But we did a little update on that where you cut in the, the uh, door jams, the trunk, the, the hood around the edges of the uh, car um so today is a little more of an update but i showed y'all that that was from probably like two three weeks ago but um today is may i want to call it the, yeah today i think it's the 19th may 19th i think I think so may 19th um so we can give you a, a update on it today see how exactly how it's looking he said he got it taped up and primed in the booth so i'm gonna go shoot it and look see how it looks now before he get ready to spray he say he's gonna spray it um the, today or the, tomorrow so it sh should be painted this weekend but still got to finish the frame notch on it on one side um and then of course uh, putting it all back together so um let's get over here now um and see how this thing looking so uh, you know we ain't far from each other, so let me, let me get on over here real quick, see what we got going on. Look, and by the way, by the way, we all um, got our trailer back. Um, I had to get two new axles on this this Joker. Uh, you see how those wheels look? I had to get two new axles, two new rims. Uh, you can probably see that see how it was from before um uh, today friday um i went through hell and high water trying to get dude to take care of this this situation he tried to pick my trail up from the um repair place and and get one of his partners to fix it Told him i was trying to save a couple dollars told you us brown folks man we we'd be on some bull crap but i had to jump on that quick like nah don't touch my trailer let the people who i took it to fix my trailer you just pay the bill he tried to get out of that, kept lying to me, but the folks who I took it to, you know, they, they stayed 100 with me, told me everything that was going on. So um, they let me come get my trailer before dude paid just to make sure everything was straight. So, and the crazy part about that, them the other folk, that ain't our folk, them the other folk. So, but they took care of me, put two new rims on it, as you can see. Um, I'm about to take this tire off, though, this rim. And use it as a spare if you can see this is one of the older tires these tires are all newer tires on on both sides so i got the other one here in the trunk right here brand new tire that matched the other three so that's four pretty much brand new tires if you can see that um and then i had that other one as my spare and i put that on right here right here so you know where i'm riding if i need need a tire i got it right there but um let's go around here now y'all i mean i got my trailer back but i gotta be careful parking out here these guys don't really care so but i got it back i'm happy i can keep moving doing what i gotta do um so let's go see my car see where it's at um see how she looking um man this man is overloaded y'all I'm talking about overload. He got so many cars sit, sitting around he can't get to. The crazy part is that's a paint shop right there too. We say A and L. Anybody in Hampton, Virginia know what's up with him. He empty. This nigga loaded. Excuse my language, but this guy loaded. Whole bunch of cars. He got them over there. He got them right there. Got them over here. I mean, look at all the cars tucked in and stuff like that. He loaded. Plus, a 
bunch of cars in here. So, let me go check my car and see what we got. See what we got real time, real time. What up, man? About to go get a car. All right. So, y'all see he loaded. Working on the van now, so. So, he said my car. Ooh. Yeah. Let's go see. What up? Take take the video. So, it's my man Chris, so. But this the update. She, she, she in the booth. She's primed down again, sanded down again. It's all taped off. All taped off. Getting ready for the spray. So, like I said, today is uh, May 18th. Finally got that part fixed on the back. She looking good. Well, man, Chris been hooking me up on the sand and, and tape job on here. So, he really trying to make sure it's straight for when I get it back. He like me. He tired of seeing this car like this. <laughs> so, I appreciate Chris. But this just the update on it. Like I said, we still got one side. Final stage before the paint. Final, final stage before the paint. Right. Yeah, I got you. No more prime, got to go on it or nothing. I got you. I got you. She looking good, bro. Flat, smooth, lines lining all up good. 600 down on the dash frame. That's where you're at now? That's where I'm doing 600 down. Okay. Well, that's what's up. She looking good though, Chris. I appreciate it. Well, I'll be happy when I actually get her though. Yeah. You know how that go. It's all good. Yeah. You know how that go. At this point, man, I'm tired of the back and forth. I'm just ready to get it done. So that's why I kind of been just trying to stay out of the way. But she looking good. Either way, she looking good. So I appreciate all your work you've been doing to it. So thank you, man. So all right, let me get out your head, man. Okay, I'm gonna hold it on. Oh, I'm playing. I'm done. I'm gonna come back and wait on to what you wanna do next. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. I'll probably push it back out. Yeah, I'll be Blow it off or so. Yeah. I got you. What are you gonna do? He gonna do the mirrors and stuff separate? Oh, yeah, let me tell you, I took All right, the gaskets. All right, y'all, so y'all see where we at. We still in that process, so that's way further along than we were, so I'm I'm cool with that, so once we get it back, y'all know I got to put the whole car back together, so um, hey, it is what it is, y'all, um, but look, once I get some more, especially on that Tahoe, the Tahoe I just showed y'all. Uh, once I get some more with that, put them videos up. Um, I done got some wheels for it. Had some stuff done to the wheels. So I'll let y'all see that whole process from purchase to how I got the wheels squared away now. But um, just a good Friday, May 19th, 2024, 23. Um, trying to get some stuff done. I'm um, gonna have some updates real soon on the 20, the, the, the red 83 Oldsmobile. Um, so y'all just stay tuned for that. Um, shoot, got quite a few more things coming, but this little joker here I'm working on now. My buddy who painted, who actually painted my van and painted my truck. This is another one of his projects that he did. Um, he lowered this. I mean, he bought this car tore up so he's repainted it it's dirty right now but he has repainted it you see how the paint look on it i was fussing out the other day i was like man how you say it much you can't paint no more your back hurting and all that and you still doing cars but this is his personal one that he did for himself so um part of our barter bartering system is that i clean the inside of it. he do certain things for me you know i know he did some of the body work on my panels over there. So I told him, knock off a couple of dollars and I clean the interior of this when he get it squared away. 
the carpet. I dyed the carpet for them. Maybe you can see that carpet inside of there. But that carpet was stained up real bad. So I took the whole, well, he took the car apart, so he took the carpet out. And I sprayed the carpet. I cleaned it first. Uh, and then I, you know, color matched the carpet. So he put that back in, put the seats back in. So what I'm getting ready to do now is I'm about to clean all his panels and stuff like that for him. Uh, clean all his panels. He still got parts missing. He got some stuff that's at the upholstery shop now. But I'm going to clean the dashboards, door panels, the headline and the trunk area, and all the seats. And then, you know, just the miscellaneous parts, you know, that he pulled off the car. You know, um, that's this little miscellaneous arm armrest, little parts, um, instrument panel parts, door handles, all that little random stuff. I'm going to clean all that stuff for him. I'm going to probably wash it one good time for him. Um, but yeah, that's what I got going on Friday. Yo, look at this, y'all. Look where the gas tank at in that car. Is this dangerous? Somebody come run through the back of this car, hit that gas tank. Oh my God, Infinity. Lawsuit. That's crazy, ain't it? It's in the trunk right behind the, the passenger, the, the back seat. Wow. <laughs> but anyway. It's one of them old school, y'all you know, know about these joints. It's one of them old Infinity Q45 joints. So, But, yeah, I'm working that car. Same time working this beast. I don't even know why this lady brought it, but it's just what I do. What's up, buddy? All right. So I had to take these seats out of this one to get to these floors. Had I let y'all see this joker before I pulled these seats out and started vacuuming and cleaning up a little bit? Oh, my God. She snuck this car on me. She, she actually told me she was bringing a Lexus, um, a newer Lexus, newer style Lexus. Um, but she pulled up and had this. I was like, I'm going to just get this one done first, and then I'm going to get the other one. You can take your time. I ain't in a rush. Then I opened the door. I said, oh, my God. She had trash bags covering all the seats. Told me she didn't want to sit on it. I told me she didn't want to sit on the seats. That's how nasty it was. I pulled the seats, they were the seats, I vacuumed them a little bit, but they were the seats in it. They pretty nasty, but it is what it is. So, yeah, so I gotta go through this. Underneath the bottom of this chair I had so much trash under it. I had to go figure wiggle ways and air and all types of stuff to get these, to get the uh, trash from up under the seats. But for the most part, it's coming along. But this is my Friday. These, you know, just updates on. What's going on on May 18th, May 19th, 2023, um, here at CJ the D with CJ the Detail Guy and that's Cookie Clan Auto. Um, shoot, I got some more. Y'all know what it is. I'll hit you back. I'm gone.